afternoon. So Cyrus Calabari is an artist, designer, and PhD candidate of the joint program between Geneva Art and Design Institute and the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. Cyrus makes websites, sculptural works, and publishes on computing cultures, critical technical practices, and research creation. Thank you. All right, so thank you so much everyone for having me. Um, so I changed the title of my talk, which is uh, basically now e-waste as inter-manipulated assemblages in sub-Saharan Africa, Pediaco, Knuts, and Bobos, which are the three artists that I will introduce. So my talk is uh, structured around like three uh, core objectives. The first one is to situate art and design project that emerged from electronic waste in the context of Ghana and Sub-Saharan Africa. The second one is to bridge gaps, so to contextualize them within local economies of repair, recycling, which are, um, 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 which are the fieldwork that I'm studying in the context of my PhD, and then a broader research and academic design frameworks. And then the third objective of the, of the talk is to shed light on their roles in nuancing tropes around e-waste as waste or as dead media. So it, it starts from a specific research context, which is the one around our political and normative discourses that depict technology as fixed, as seamless, and as non-material. And of course, from marketing campaigns to design choices, private technologies, and platformization, there's always this desire to hide the software, hardware, and human infrastructure of labor and control that e enables these technologies to exist at first. So from extraction to optimization or to waste, there's this hidden infrastructure of labor from server racks to cell phone towers to TSMC, which is the bigger uh, um, chip producer in the world to undersea cables and so on and so on. And in the context of my talk, how do studying practices of electronic waste, reuse, and reappropriation in Ghana and Sub-Saharan Africa help us to challenge these narratives? And there's one specific research object, which is the one of landfills, right? So the problem with landfills is that they are defined by our Euro and Western-centric tropes um, following metaphors that hide the human infrastructure of waste processing and reuse. We can, for example, talk about uh, graveyards or e-waste dumps. But behind uh, landfills, such as the one of Agbog Bloshi, which is the one I'm studying in the context of my PhD, there's this complex and non-linear infrastructure of vendors, dismantlers, repairers, burners, that contribute to recycle, transform, and put like the electronic waste back on the market, whether it's like on in objects such as uh, construction units or uh, pots or other um, objects. And so, what about artists? What about artists reappropriating e-waste? Uh, there's three specific cases that I would like to. Uh, shed light on in the context of my talk. Uh, the first is the one of uh, an artist from Ghana working with sculptures, uh, installations, then there's an artist working with performing arts, and then there's, uh, there's a third artist working with music. Uh, the first artist I would like to introduce is Akwazi Bediako Afran, which makes uh, arcade games that are coming from trash computers that he repurposes as um, objects in order to break the black box of computers and show how different regimes are intertwined inside the same um, object and inside the technology we use on a daily basis. In the context of this uh, piece, which is the one of his trones, there's the desire to mix different, um, let's say, different um, ways we frame technology from this e-waste, uh, which is in the background, to the one of 
um, VR headsets. The second artist I would like to introduce is uh, Francois Knutz, uh, which is working in uh, South Africa. And so Francois Knutz, Knutz is a performance artist that works with uh, trashed PCBs or trashed cell phones that he reuses as a way to explore rituals, so technological rituals, and how can um, how does technology intertwines with uh, religious uh, uh, practices, with rituals, with spirituality, with a complex uh, social cultural um, network. And so Francois Knutz uh, repurposes um, objects and recreates from uh, Shenzhen to um, Kinshasa uh, different sculptures that are used to explore how these uh, objects are much more than electronic waste. And then the third artist that I would like to uh, shed light on is uh, DJ Bobos, which is uh, a DJ, uh, a musician coming from Kenya that makes his uh, decks coming from e-waste uh, with uh, old transistors, radios, and then applies uh, his uh, decks to techno music uh, with this boiler room that he produced. Uh, so from Bediako to Knutz to DJ Bobos, there's, of course, uh, a reappropriation by artists of this critical making, critical and making ways we can like hijack a technology by opening its black box, uh, framing technology not as something that is fixed, but as a zombie media where different uh, temporal regimes intertwine together um, as a tactical media that can be used in order to critique and to nuance our tropes around electronic waste, and of course as a media geology uh, that reveals uh, practices of extraction and how technology is produced by um, a network of materials, processes, sediments, and so on. And I would like to say a few words about uh, my concluding premises. Um, so studying these three artists outside of our Western tropes around fixedness and disposable objects um, help us to shed light on this non-linearity of our, of our electronic objects and help us to reframe e-waste, not as waste, but as inter-manipulated assemblages um, f from where we can create um, new objects out of it, such as artistic pieces. Thanks.